I'm a telecommunications specialist. I work for Grant McEwen College. Basically, I fix equipment, I install it, do upgrades, do programming for it, that sort of thing. One day I could be sitting at the desk programming, the next day I could be out running around, installing phones and equipment. For instance, with our wireless system, if it's not working correctly, we'll have to take it down, take it apart, look at its actual backbone wiring, making sure right from the basement and its main wiring center it's coming up correctly, it's jumpered correctly, the programming's done right, it's got the right line, the right power. I'll make sure that the wires are connected correctly, that they're in the right spots, that they're in the right order, and then I will go from there and I'll go to its next spot that it was jumpered down and I will check that it's the same there and consistent all the way through. If the wiring is fine, everything's hooked up good, we could look at the power itself. We have a power box that distributes power to it. That could be bad. The base station itself, the actual equipment, could be bad or we look at programming and see, we do a reevaluate and make sure that it's up and it sees it. Maybe there's a communication problem and we need to replace something. The general overview is we have to take a pair of wires for the voice to communicate over, right? Just like you talk on a phone. We have to take it from our main distribution in the basement, jumper it up to the corresponding floor. So we're on the second floor of this building, we jumper it there. Because it's not placed in a specific room or a specific area, we have to jumper from the floor level to what we call an expansion block, which is in the ceiling. It lets us get further along the line of basically getting us closer to the actual device itself, where I would take that wire from the floor level room to there and make sure it's connected correctly. Because even a simple thing like those little wires twisted around will give you that most of problems.